opening eyes back in the headlines with yet another model leak. According to Reuters, OpenAI is working on a new reasoning technology under codename Strawberry. And apparently Strawberry is Q-Star. Now, Q-Star is that leak out of OpenAI that surfaced in November to December of last year during the firing of Sam Altman. We didn't know quite what it was, but we knew that it was some sort of a big algorithmic breakthrough that allowed AI models to do something, to be better at math, to be better at learning, to be better at setting goals and executing on those goals. We didn't know exactly what, but that was the speculation around it. And actually, now that I think about it, I believe it was Reuters that broke that story originally. They were the first to release it. They got the scoop from someone inside of OpenAI. And the story starts off exactly like it did back in November of last year in that there's a person familiar with the matter and internal documentations reviewed by Reuters. Keep in mind that Sam Altman back in the days did confirm that the leak was real. He didn't specify any details, but he said, yes, that leak was unfortunate. And so this Strawberry, aka Q-Star, is a novel approach to artificial intelligence models. So this project is something that has the potential to deliver advanced reasoning capabilities to these models. We don't know when this could be publicly available. It is described as a work in progress. And it is a tightly kept secret even within OpenAI. And this is where we see the similarities to QSTAR. This leaked document describes a project that uses strawberry models with the aim of enabling the company's AI to not just generate answers to queries, but to plan ahead enough to navigate the internet autonomously and reliably to perform what OpenAI terms deep search, according to the source. The Strawberry Project was formerly known as QSTAR. And yeah, Reuters reported last year, this was the thing that started it all, the whole QSTAR fiasco. And I gotta say, at the time, the thinking was that Ilya Sutskever was spooked by what he saw. That's why a lot of things that happened happened. At least that was the speculation at the time. That's what we all believed. But it does seem that whatever Ilya saw at his time at OpenAI did really increase his belief in how quickly we will see breakthroughs in AI. We'll get to that in just a second. They continue that two sources described reviewing earlier this year what OpenAI staffers told them were Q-star demos, capable of answering tricky science and math questions out of reach of today's commercially available models. Now, a few days ago on this channel, I covered another article that was this time published by Bloomberg. They had the scoop on this, the exclusive, but they did talk about a demo of a research project they were working on that had what they claimed was new human-like reasoning skills. We don't know if that was Q-Star, Strawberry, or something else, but it does seem like the trick of this model, or at least one of the tricks, is that it involves a specialized way of processing an AI model after it has been pre-trained on very large data sets. So if you take GPT-4, that's a complete training model, or rather as completed its training. Now, based on some things that Sam Altman has said, and Mark Zuckerberg hinted at this as well in his interview with Dwarkesh Patel, they both seem to have kind of suggested that the line of, you know, pre-training a model versus the final complete model, that line is getting blurrier. They didn't provide too many details, but it was almost, it seemed like it was becoming more of a constant ongoing process, not a specific checkpoint. Some researchers are saying that reasoning is the key to AI achieving human or superhuman level intelligence. The current problem is large language models hallucinate bogus information when they're not sure of the answer. A better reasoning ability would allow these models to plan ahead, think through next steps, reflect how the physical world functions, as well as do research, do in-context learning, etc. And as Sam Altman himself said, the most important areas of progress will be around reasoning ability. So these leaked documents seen by Reuters describe what Strawberry aims to enable, but not how. So we don't know the details, but we have an idea of what it's supposed to do. It seems like OpenAI has been signaling to outside parties, to developers, that it is on the cusp of releasing technology with significantly more advanced reasoning capabilities. And we've been hearing those rumors for a while. 
Some people refer to it as GBT-5, although it does seem like that's not the naming convention that they're using. But again, there are rumors that something far more powerful is waiting on the sidelines. And they are, as they say, on the cusp of releasing this technology. And here's that interesting thing about the approach to training these models. Strawberry includes a specialized way of what is known as post-training opening eyes AI models, or adapting the base models to hone their performance in specific ways after they have already been trained on reams of generalized data, one of the sources said. So again, it's this idea that there's a continuous training. It's not pre-training and then it's done. It's continuous post-training, continuous learning, things like fine-tuning. They also mentioned RLHF, so, you know, reinforcement learning of human feedback. Although these things have been around, these are not news, but certainly there may be new approaches to doing them or something that's not really commonly known. And Strawberry has similarities to a method developed at Stanford called Self-Taught Reasoner, or STAR, bootstrapping reasoning with reasoning. And the idea behind it is to create a reasoning loop, so to speak. And while the questions and the answers are expected to be present in the data set, the rationale behind it, the step-by-step chain of thought reasoning through that problem, that's generated using STAR. So they're saying that they're leveraging the large language model's pre-existing reasoning ability, and then they iteratively bootstrap the ability to generate high-quality rationales. So when they prompt the large language model to generate rationales, and rationales, so here's an example, you know, for asking what can be used to carry a small dog, and you have your answers, right? Right. So for example, a swimming pool, right? That's the question, and then the answer is B, B basket, but the text here in red, that's the kind of rationale behind it. So here, for example, the large language model says the answer must be something that can be used to carry a small dog. Baskets are designed to hold things. Therefore, the answer is basket B. And so this large language model generates this, these rationales, and then they refine the model's ability further by fine-tuning on those rationales that lead to the correct answers. And then they repeat this procedure using the improved model to generate the next training set each time. This is a synergistic process where improvements in rationale generation improves the training data, and the improvements in training data further improve rationale generation. So that really reads like a self-improving AI of sorts. It's able to iteratively improve its own answers as it generates the rationales, the thinking behind how it answers it. The actual model, the brain, is improved by those rationales. And then each new level of improvement then gets used to produce the data for the next level. And that's exactly what they're talking about here. Or it certainly sounds a lot like this strawberry thing. And then this is the thing that jumps out at me. Star enables AI models to bootstrap themselves into higher intelligence levels via iteratively creating their own training data and, in theory, could be used to get language models to transcend human-like intelligence. One of its creators, Stanford professor Noah Goodman, said, and he's saying it's both exciting and terrifying. If things keep going in that direction, we have some serious things to think about as humans. And OpenAI is trying to get Strawberry to do long horizon tasks. So basically, agentic capability, the ability to execute something that might take many steps, that might take some time to complete. And it looks like it's training and creating a data set that the company OpenAI calls a deep research data set. That's what the internal documentations show. And on top of this, they're mentioning that another terminology that they use within the company is this CUA or computer using agent. So OpenAI specifically wants the models to use these capabilities to conduct research by browsing the web autonomously, right, as a computer using agent, and then is able to take actions based on its findings. OpenAI also plans to test its capabilities on doing the work of software and machine machine learning engineers. I apologize if I'm beating a dead horse here, but Leopold Aschenbrenner, who was fired from OpenAI from the AI safety alignment team for allegedly leaking some of the information, he of course was the one that posted the situational awareness paper. It's a huge deep dive into where AI is going and how this whole thing will sort of 
play out. But this is the thing that he specifically was talking about, that AI doesn't have to get good at improving everything. Really, it has to only get good at improving one thing itself, aka automated AI research. Once that happens, we will see an intelligence explosion. So if there is indeed internal OpenAI documentation that says that they are planning to test the capabilities of this strawberry human level reasoner that's able to perform long horizon tasks, deep research that acts as an agent capable of browsing the web autonomously that's able to take actions on its findings, right? The question is, where will OpenAI apply those capabilities? Where are they pointing those agents to? If they are indeed pointing them towards the work of software and specifically machine learning engineers, then the question becomes, where are we on this chart? Are we potentially entering that intelligence explosion, that recursive self-improvement? If you missed it, OpenAI just yesterday announced their stages of artificial intelligence, kind of how they're seeing the different tiers of AI as we march towards AGI, right? So level one, well, that's chatbots, AIs with conversational language. That's kind of where we are now. That's what's available to the public. Stage two are reasoners with human level problem solving. And level three are agents, systems that can take actions. That's that long horizon tasks, deep research, etc. By the way, it does look like LMSYS, the people behind Chatbot Arena, they do once again have yet another OpenAI model that's in the rotation for testing before there's an announcement of it or before it gets released into the world. One of them is called Upcoming GPT Mini. In the past, we've seen models that were codenamed I am a good GPT-2 chatbot and I'm also a good GPT-2 chatbot. And of course, we've covered this paper. It was uh, published by LMSYS, or at least I think they provided a lot of the data and the resources for it. I think the paper authors were a number of people from various universities. But the point was that you're able to use smaller models to answer some of the questions and therefore save quite a bit on the costs. And the idea was basically to actually train another model that is able to kind of gatekeep or, or to route the questions to either the big capable model or the smaller one. So it was able to kind of learn which questions would be okay to route the smaller one versus the big one. And they were able to reduce the cost of running these models of inference by as much as 85% in, in some cases, while keeping 95% quality of answers. So the fact that OpenAI is testing something that they're referring to as GPT mini could certainly be somehow related to this. In the future, maybe automatically, whenever you ask a question, it will be routed to either the big capable model or the smaller one, depending on how complex the question is and how well the models are able to answer it. But let me know what you think. Do you think this strawberry has something to do with the self-taught reasoner, aka star, that it's able to kind of improve itself recursively, step by step, and potentially in theory could be used to get these large language models to transcend human level intelligence? Or do you think this is just hype, that nothing is real and nothing to get hung about, just strawberry fields forever? Let me know in the comments. My name is Wes Roth and thank you for watching.